Meta is completely changing the game right now with the release of Llama 3.1405B and it is absolutely insane. And what makes this even more amazing is the fact that Meta is doing this for free. If I was a private for-profit company, I'd personally be terrified right now because then why would folks pay to use my LLM when another company like Meta offers something that's equally the same, if not even better, but for free. Meta open sourcing their AI models that are now as or more powerful than everyone else will be studied in future business cases as a genius chess move to instantly wipe out the rising competition of AI startups like OpenAI and avoid them becoming serious competitors to Meta. And I mean, why would people or businesses use GPT-40 if something free like Llama 3.1 is out there available for anyone to use. Literally anyone can use it. So Meta technically gave an update to all of their versions, but in this video, we will primarily be looking at their larger model. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some key takeaways. Number one, Meta is committed to openly accessible AI. Read Mark Zuckerberg's letter detailing why open source is good for developers, good for Meta, and good for the world. And I think the question then is, why is this good for devs? Why is this good for Meta? And why is this good for the world? Let's take a look at what Mark Zuckerberg means in the letter that he just wrote. We need to control our own destiny and not get locked into a closed vendor. Many organizations don't want to depend on models. They cannot run and control themselves. They don't want closed model providers to be able to change their model, alter their terms of use, or even stop serving them entirely. They also don't want to get locked into a single cloud that has exclusive rights to a model. Open source enables a broad ecosystem of companies with compatible tool chains that you can move between easily. Which is absolutely true. Who wants to be locked in with one closed vendor? We need to control our own destiny and make sure that we have the ability to choose what LLM works best for us. Now, bringing open intelligence to all, our latest models expand context length up to 128,000 tokens. Now, please note that prior to the release of Llama 3.1, its context length was up to 8,192 tokens. So the jump from 8K to 128,000 tokens is absolutely insane. First of all, okay. And then they add support across eight languages and include Llama 3.1, 405B, the first frontier level open source AI model. What's interesting is that this could potentially cause or force OpenAI to release GPT 4.5 earlier or 5.0. Now this is great for competition, right? We want competition, but I think the better question to ask, and please let me know in the comment section below is how long can OpenAI stay ahead as a profit company, for profit company, when these open source models like Llama are now either leading, if not on par with them. Yes, OpenAI GPT-4 will be on the new iPhones coming out this year, as we've heard, potentially. But then what does that mean if Apple can use something for free instead? This is potentially a, a, a huge game changer. Let's see what this does. Let, please let me know what you think below. Now, Llama 3.1405B is in a class of its own with unmatched flexibility, control, and state of the art capabilities that rival the best closed source models. A little bit lower into this article, under model evaluations, I want to read this really quick, talking about how they compare themselves to other models. For this release, we evaluated performance on over 150 benchmark data sets that span a wide range of languages. In addition, we performed extensive human evaluations that compare Llama 3.1 with competing models in real world scenarios. Our experimental evaluation suggests that our flagship model is competitive with leading foundation models across a range of tasks, including GPT-4, GPT-4.0, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So when we take a look at this, let me open this up in a new tab. And when we look at the comparison between all these different models from Llama to GPT-4, GPT-4.0, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and you can clearly see that Llama 3.1405B is beating GPT-4 in most benchmarks. And it's on par with Claude 3.5, if not better which is so impressive, which is why I like to bring up again, how will OpenAI change their business model or their particular releases with Llama catching up? Our new model will enable the community to unlock new workflows such as synthetic data generation and model distillation. Now, for those who don't know what this means, synthetic data generation is when you can create fake data that mimics real world data. For example, instead of spending millions of dollars on data, this model will actually generate its own data rather than acquiring it, saving you so much more money. 
And model distillation is a technique where a smaller, simpler model is trained to replicate the performance of a larger, more complex model, which means that smaller models require less memory and computational power, right? Which is great. Now, I just want to include what Mark Zuckerberg shared about how he thinks AI is changing. He says, I believe that AI will develop in a similar way. Today, several tech companies are developing leading closed models, but open source is quickly closing the gap. Last year, Llama 2 was only comparable to an older generation of models behind a frontier. This year, Llama 3 is competitive with the most advanced models and leading in some areas. Starting next year, we expect future Llama models to become the most advanced in the industry. But even before that, Llama is already leading on openness, modifiability, and cost efficiency. As I said, Llama 3.1 is absolutely changing the game right now. I'm excited to see what OpenAI or what Anthropic will do in response to this. It's exciting to see the competition it spice up. It's amazing to see how fast open source AI is catching up with close source companies like OpenAI and Anthropic, I mean. Please let me know what y'all think this is gonna do to the AI space. What do you expect after this release? And I'm excited to see more things change. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.